back to science tutorial for you guys and in this video I'm going to do the periodic table okay um, the periodic table has around has around 100 elements and these 100 elements are arranged In the increasing arrow going up means increasing okay these hundred elements are arranged in the increasing order of order of what order of proton number now proton number has a different name which is called atomic number so atomic number means the number of protons or can be also the number of electrons in an atom. Okay. So if I draw the periodic table, elements found on the right hand side are non-metals. So the shaded parts on the right, these are non-metals. And it, it is only 25%. So 25% of the elements of the periodic tables are non-metals. And they are found on the right. Okay, so what about these one? The non-shaded part. These are the metal. And it's 75%. And it's found on the left. Well, the middle and left. When it comes to periodic table, only two things are important, and these are um, group and period. Okay. So this is group. And group are the colons. So we have group one over here, group two over here, group three, and so on. It will go up to group eight. Group eight can be called as group zero. Now the rows, the rows are called a period. And period goes from, okay, number one starts from the hydrogen, one, and then it goes up to number seven. So important things to note over here, group goes from one to eight, or one to zero, because eight is zero, and period is 1 to 7. Now, the elements in the middle of the periodic tables are metals and they have a special name. It's called transition element or transition metals because they are metals. And transition metals or elements are found are found between group between group two and group three. Okay. All right. Elements across the period don't have a specific name, but the groups, certain elements in a group have specific name. And these are, okay. Group one is called alkali metals. Group two is called alkaline earth metal. Group 7, halogens. And group 8 is called noble gas, or it can be called as inert gas. The reason why it's called inert is because it is non-reactive. 
Why is it non-reactive? It's because it has both outer shell of electrons. Alright guys, that's all I'm going to teach you in this video. I'm going to do a second part of um, periodic table where I'm going to teach you in more details what does the group tell us and the period tell us and I'm going to also explain to you the atomic number and the mass number. Okay guys, thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe.